Hello everybody, I'm BoCrusher2D, and welcome to the meta. So for those of you who have not quite figured out what the meta is yet, I'm going to be discussing the different trips and tricks that we have learned in the beta along the way, and what could possibly end up in the actual game once we're finished. I would like to add in an extra disclaimer as well, this is all beta footage, We'll be discussing some issues with the tricks battle as it appeared in the beta, and this may not reflect the final version of the game, so keep that in mind when viewing beta footage. Also keep in mind that all the video that has been captured on here has been taken from myself and Daggy's streams. Our streams will be linked down in the bio if you want to watch us live on Twitch. Now that we've got all these disclaimers out of the way, Let's get into it. I want to start with the districts up in the top left of the screen here. We'll see the different districts in the map. So up in the north, we have the crab district. It's got eight different tags. In the west, we have the snake or the serpent district with seven tags. In the middle, we have the shark with six tags. On the east, we have the octopus with eight tags. And south, we have volcano with 10 tags. Now bone crusher, that's cool and all. But what the heck is a tag? Well, me, I'm glad you asked because it is every little feature that you can jump off of. As for example, right now, I am jumping over an overpipe. Now on both sides of this, each count as a tag individually. Once you have successfully captured all of the tags in a district, you now own that district. As you can see, there are times five multipliers all over that district, meaning I am now getting five times the amount of points that I would normally get while I'm in this district. Now that we know a little bit about districts and how tags work within those districts, we can move on to what is the meta. Now this is where we get into a little bit more of the messy side of tricks battle. Uh, as an example, right now on screen I have myself jumping from one end of the district to the other capitalizing on every feature and doing just enough points to capture the entire district in one sitting, in one take. So let's look at this again. I'm jumping from one side, I'm touching all of the features, there is still a little bit of time on the times five district and I can capture the entire thing by myself because I touched every tag in that district. In a little bit we'll get into more of why that's possible and possible things that Ubisoft can do to change this and how that may affect the meta in the future. But for now we're going to go more into what is currently the meta as of the beta. As far as the macro and the micro play, there isn't a lot. There isn't a lot of diversity to it. Generally I am taking one district, the Serpent District in the west side of the map. Now there are a few reasons for doing this. For one, I can take the entire district by myself within seconds of losing it, or after the enemy captures it, I can grab it back from them by myself without needing my team. This makes it a very quick and effective measure in counterplaying your opponents and capturing the objectives for yourselves, and not only that, but keeping it for yourselves as well. Points wise, this is also one of the most valuable districts in the map as it is really easy to get repeatable tricks and do them in a very quick and efficient manner throughout the entire dura duration of the time that you own that district. As far as macro play and why I say there isn't a lot of diversity or reason for you to do anything else is that if you see right now the mini map, just about every other district is being controlled by the team and we don't care. It does not apply to us. There is no reason to get more districts than this one because while we have the times five multiplier and in general, this district is much more valuable than all of the other ones combined. As of the beta, as long as you have the serpent district and your entire team is working together on that district, there is no way to lose. If you can consistently keep the five times multiplier on that district, you will win. Also, contributed by Snix, there is another video of him doing flips that you can just repeat over and over. I expect this to be patched out by the time the game releases. So Bone Crusher, you have complained a lot about what is wrong with Trex Battle, but how do we fix it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because right now you can simply follow somebody around and that's how you sabotage them by preventing them from 
capturing tags in their district. The best way to actually sabotage somebody, and maybe this can be changed in the future, should be to put points on each tag. So if I put 40,000 points onto a tag, then they will have to, the enemy team I mean, will have to put at least 40,000 points back on that feature or that tag to get it back. As far as macro play goes, and I believe that the entire arena should be contested over by both teams, is making every district that you hold at one time worth more points. And how much do I mean by that? Now when I'm saying more points, I mean that every district you should hold should give you another times five worth on both districts. So let's say you hold one district. That should be worth five times the amount of points. If you hold two districts, you should get times 10 on both districts. For three districts, times 15. This would encourage you to get as many districts and hold on to as many districts as possible and make the highest level competition as competitive as possible. So Bonecrusher, let's assume that all of these problems have been fixed and everything has been implemented the way you say it should. What should we expect as far as the meta? How will it change? What should we expect from the gameplay at the highest level? Well, if we're planning on changing the macro play so that you'll want to capture as many districts as possible, you may want to set on two or three districts to help your team out, or move to a more aggressive strategy by sabotaging the enemy team. The point is you will always have to engage in the map and make sure that you know what you're going for. So let's rank the districts by the most to least valuable so we can get a sort of an idea of what will be the best three or two to go for in any given match. Based on the limited playtesting I did of the other districts, I ranked them by difficulty and the value that they give out as a district. So for the Crab District, I rank that as probably the hardest, the most difficult to capture just because of that top rail. It also has two little spines, these rails that you see here, that go down into the Shark District. As difficult it goes, it is very hard to lace all of these together in one attempt. Generally it takes three or four attempts to get all of the district at the same time, which means that you have to divert more time and more people to getting it if you're trying to sabotage the enemy team or if you're trying to claim it under any kind of competition. However, as far as points go, this is the second most profitable district in the entire match. The reason being is when you get on those half pipes or quarter pipes, generally you can do quite a bit of tricks and then turn around and get right back on them. They're not very hard to reset. However, trying to get up on any of the pipes does take a lot of time to reset and is therefore not as valuable. Next as far as value versus difficulty, in the east we have the octopus. Now this one I rank as probably the second easiest to get as it's not very hard to transition from one to another and you can almost grab every single part of it by yourself. It's just very difficult and tedious to do so. It takes just a little bit longer than the serpent would and is less easy to pull off. As far as value goes, I rank this one third. It is very easy to get back up on the pipes if you need to, and resetting to get back up on them is very consistent. The only problem is, is that getting the amount of points is very static, there is not a lot you can do in terms of tricks, and even the overpipe is not as consistent as the others would be. However, it is very close. If you could not get the Serpent District, the Octopus is a good second choice. I will always stand by that one, unless they make some very drastic changes to the way the game works when it launches. Next we have the Volcano. Now while it doesn't take all that long to get, it does take quite a few attempts and leaves you way open for sabotage, and therefore is not the most efficient use of your time. Also with the constant resets, this does mean that you also have to spend more time on the overpipes, which makes this less valuable. It does, however, have one very valuable trait, and if you can keep the octopus, the serpent, and the volcano all at the same time, it is very easy to transition from one to the other, since if you need to move from one district to the other, let's say the octopus to the serpent, you can use the volcano's cannon shoot to launch you from one side to the other to assist with the other district. 
Now lastly, we have the shark. Now the shark I do not very much like. There is quite a bit of value as far as where it lands and how you can perform on it. However, because there is no easy feature that you can do tricks repeatedly on and all of the rails and overpipe do not give you a lot of points and they're very hard to continuously get, this becomes probably the worst district in the entire battle. I would only capture this if both the, the crab and the volcano were taken by your enemy, as this is probably the worst transition point out of all three. Well boys, this is going to wrap it up for me. This is all the, the tips and tricks that I have on this, and as far as what I've seen from the beta, remember this is not current release gameplay, I would like to hear what you guys have to think. Write down in the comments below what you think the meta is going to be. Where do you think we're going to be? What is going to be the competition for Trix Battle? Do you think they're going to take any of these advice or is there any that you would like to see put in yourself? Let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good one.